Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for the OBTC video, and in today's video, we're taking the new Dex, Super Class, Super Type, Super Tandem, Luffy into some Pirate Rumble and showcasing the new and improved Dex team, taking on quick fights. Not that it struggled, anyway, against quick, but the new and improved Dex team with Luffy is absolutely cooked. It does so much damage. It's just so powerful that Luffy is just an absolute monster. Luffy's kind of another dimension for the... Dex team, if I'm honest, and if you guys want to see some fights against some non-quick teams, let me know in the comment section below. But today, because Pirate Rumble is all about sort of counterparting the counterparts, where Dex beats Quick, Quick beats Strength, and Strength beats uh, Dex. It's the way of the world, it's the way of the law, it's the way the cookie crumbles at the moment. So today we're taking on some quick teams. But let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see the Dex team take on some other teams. While you're down there though, don't forget to build the like button. And if you're new, hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the bell notification too, because... Uh, We've got a lot of content coming out, and you don't want to miss any of it. We do stream over on Twitch as well. Link in the description. Make sure to hit me up with a follow. Most importantly, though, enjoy the content, and let's dive in. All right, so the first fight is taking on the old-school quick team, and honestly, this, this particular fight isn't exactly the be-all, end-all. We're going to finish it off with the challenge fight and really showcase what Luffy can do, but with, like, Neko and Inu, with Luffy, Dofi on the bench, like, Luffy's actually pushed out Kizaru from this team. That's, that's how good Luffy is. That he's actually managed to push out PvP Kizaru from this particular team. Now, Luffy's all about power. He's all about dealing damage, outputting numbers, and he has a unique revive mechanic. He also gives a lot of HP, not only to himself, but to the entire team as well. You can easily put him in the middle slot too, because like he just doesn't die. Him giving himself the extra 5 HP up just means he just absolutely like, just tanks for days. But I thought I'd take on the like, older... Quick team, just to sort of showcase how much how much further the Dex team has actually come. I will, I'm not that high in in um exhibition as well. Whatever we are, well, no, what are we in block A? So finding particular teams was a little bit tricky, especially like hard quick teams to fight because no one runs quick as goddamn defense, and I don't blame them because like Cat Dog does stuff like that. So um the first fight's a bit of a write off. Let's move on to the next fight. Alright, so the next team looks a little bit more impressive. We have some newer characters. We've got Brook, we've got Izo Kiku, and they've got Shiryu on the bench, which to me is a bit of an odd one. If you guys have Shiryu and you're rocking the quick team, I would highly recommend putting Shiryu in the front lines. Alright, so the next team is a little bit more impressive. It looks a little bit like this. They do have Brook. They do have Izu Kiko, who are very, very good for the quick team. However, they are rocking Shiryu in the back. And for me, if you are if you have Shiryu on the quick team, you want to run him in the front. He has like a buff for the first 40 seconds. You don't want him coming in the back end and something like, like Final Tap Luffy. Honestly, Final Tap Luffy's sort of been replaced on the quick team, if you ask me. But I would sort of have that particular character in the back lines. Or just using stuff like Whitebeard and Sober Mask and all those other like nuking characters to sort of output some back end of damage. But nevertheless, with Izo and Kiku, as well as Brook, this particular quick team is a little bit better. And hopefully we can see the power that Luffy can output. Akainu's going to come in. He's going to give us some HP cuts. Versus Akainu's just got so good. Like, versus Akainu versus Ace, they're still great. Like, lots of people have like 10 copies of them too because they've been out for a while. And um, they've been such a sought after unit that a lot of people have been keeping copies of that unit as well. So most of the time, you'll come up against like Ace versus Akainu's, either Ace or Akainu at level 150, which can be quite scary. So, you know, just be careful of that with the HP cut. Nevertheless, like, the quick team, as you guys saw with Izo Kiku there, like, the quick team against our Dex team is just doing absolutely baby numbers. Even Kaido lowering defense is barely cracking 1,000 damage on everyone. And then once Luffy goes in, like, Luffy's just popping off for, like, 6,000, 4,000 damage on everyone. Plus, he puts up a counter mechanic. Luffy has the ability to hit three units and do a butt-ton of damage. Kind of like Dalton, actually, like, like, just that. But then he also puts up, like, a counter mechanic. Luffy's, like, tanking abilities. He's extra damage output. Just provides so much for your team that the Dex team was already tanky enough to sort of withstand hits, let alone taking hits from the quick team. That Luffy, like, we didn't even need Cat Fighter to go off. Luffy's just... Luffy just comes in and just runs an absolute riot. So, that was fight number two. Pretty impressive stuff. Let's move on to the next fight now. Alright, so the final team is looking pretty juicy. The End Pirates has got the new Corazon and has level limit broken the new Corazon, by the way. 
So it's either pulled dupes or for some reason it's put in the quick uh, scrolls. Got stuff like Bowler on the team here. Got stuff like King on the team here. Got some smoker action in the back there. Again, Shiryu on the bench doesn't make too much sense to me. But look, it is what it is and we're here now. So this particular quick team is a bit of a higher ended quick team. Um, a lot of good PvP rare recruits and stuff like that. But again, the, the power of Luffy and the power of Dex, like, it doesn't struggle. With this particular team, too, that I'm rocking, you can put some replacements in. If you guys don't have either Neko or Inu, it's best just not to run them, because they work alongside each other. You can use stuff like PvP Kazaru. Like, even Super Type Zoro works really, really well for this particular team. He gives a lot of damage output. Um, you've got characters like Kid. You can even use Dofi in the front lines, if you like. But as you can see there, like... Dalton comes in. Dalton does a whole bunch of damage. Dalton's a quite a like a exclusive Pirate Rumble rare recruit as well. He's so good for the Dex team though. So if you have him, make sure you're using him. But you could easily put like something like Cavendish in the front lines, stick him in the middle slot. Hopefully he dies early, and then have your bench come in. Um, but it, as you guys saw there, like we managed to push out a Kainu in terms of like not even take the Akainu shots, and then with Moria coming in to lower all the defense, we can just do so much damage. Like if Luffy pops up after Moria after like the level eight defense down that Moria can provide against the quick team, like. You just do so much, so much. Now, like I said, I would be keen to take this team against some other teams, stuff like your um, Psy teams or like other Dex teams, maybe some Int teams and see how it goes. But um, it might be a little bit etchy because stuff like Cat Viper, Neko Inu, that, that sort of combination won't work too well. We might have to bring like Kid into the line and stuff like that. So you have Rayleigh as an option. That's a real option. Like, that missed chance is so annoying. But let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see some more fights with this particular team. Again, something that's not quick. Finally, we're going to wrap up with the challenge fight, so let's slide over to that. Alright, so to taking on the AI quick fight, the challenge fight against the big ass quick team. With the release of the new PvP Corazon comes this challenge fight, and um, I was on stream doing these fights. Shout out to stream again, Twitch link in the description below. If you guys want to come over and uh, follow me over on Twitch for the streams, we have a lot of fun. Um, try out a lot of different teams. A lot of the content you see on YouTube, we're doing it over there on Twitch first. So if you want the exclusive cut-ins, come over to Twitch, follow me there. Come join the streams. So, I was talking to stream, and my boy Sim, Sim City, the, the man, the myth, the legend, was like, Ace works really, really well under Luffy. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. We'll drop Dalton to the bench, we'll bring Ace in. Ace's ability, he cuts his HP by 40%, and obviously with level limit break, like, if you have him at level 150, he can hit ridiculously hard. He does three times his attack, and then, obviously, with Luffy, because he HP cuts himself, if he dies, he comes back. And then he can just do his special again. Nevertheless, I don't know how great that actually is. Because even in this fight, we get down to, like, the last 20 seconds. And Ace doesn't even pop his special off twice. Because of how powerful the Dex team is when we are coming up against Quick. As I mentioned, like, the lore of the world, the Rumble world, I should say, for PvP right now is... If you're versing a quick team, bring Dex. Like, if you're versing Dex, bring Strength. If you're versing Strength, bring Quick. Psy so Int, obviously interchangeable. But as you can see, like, the amount of nerfing you get with particular characters against their opposite color is very, very nice. And it makes things a lot easier to deal with. Neko comes in with that big damage shot, manages to take them out. Um, take, who did he take out? Corazon, I think. After the ace attack went through, which is always nice to see, because ace is just outputting a lot of damage. And even if we die, like, even if we lose a couple units, it's not the end of the world, because we've got stuff like Dalton on the bench, we've got stuff like Sober Mask on the bench as well, and we are going to be in really, really good stead for that. Um, this guy, like, this challenge made bench is pretty strong, obviously, like, they've got units that you can't put on a team, so I'd say it's pretty strong as an actual understatement, but nevertheless... We, um, we have no issues taking on this team. It just takes a little bit of time. Obviously, these challenges do because you're running an eight-man team that has like seven legends on there or like six legends. So, nevertheless, you're, you're going to have to have struggle. But as you can see, we have an ace special back ready to go. I don't think we need it, but the fact that we have it is very nice because if it, if it pops off, it's 100% just going to kill literally everything. So, that is a nice cheeky little combo if you guys wanted to use that. Um, I think that's where we got the revive there for Ace. Ace just got the revive. Unfortunately, though, Ace got absolutely smacked by his puppy Whitebeard. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you do want to run the Dex team against Quick, it does work very, very well. If you are using the Luffy, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how you're finding him. Do you like him in PvP? Do you like him in regular play? I'm, a, I'm, I'm really enjoying this Luffy. I think he's a very, very powerful character, both in Rumble and outside of Rumble. As you guys will see here, we're going to wrap it up with the Dalton special. So, there you guys go. That is uh, the new Dex team with Luffy and Pyramble. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And while you're down there, don't forget to belt the like button. And if you're new to the channel, 
hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the new content for the 8th anniversary. But most importantly, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!